following is the sixth grade lesson for the 6th of March, 2017. Okay, bell workers tell your shoulder partner three things you learned from Friday's lesson. If you weren't here for Friday, make sure you're looking at Friday's video. Okay. Learning goals. Students will be able to determine the theme or central idea that is explicitly or implicitly stated in the text and determine how specific details from the text contribute to theme. A few reminders. Spelling test is on Friday. Okay, make sure you're studying those words every day. Your reading log number nine is due March 16th. Okay, it gives you a little less than two weeks. So it's one less day because we don't have school next Friday. So there's not going to be any late work for this one because next Friday is spring break. I want you on spring break, not worrying about turning in homework. Okay, air test is due at the end of the month, so 31st of March. That's going to be next grading period, not this one. And next Tuesday, I'm going to have a planner app and PRT book check again, just like I did before. Okay? Easy grade. Just make sure you're getting ready. All right, so bell work. Tell your partner three things you learned from Friday's lesson. Also answer the following questions. Who is Paul Revere? What was the famous midnight ride? Who were the Redcoats? And who were the Redcoats coming after? Okay, classwork for today. Continue working on page 292 with your shoulder partners answering questions number 1 through 5. If you're not finished at the end of school, finish at home for homework, all right? We started this on Friday. This was Friday's work. So if you did not finish, please make sure you're getting that done and turned in to Mr. Foisey so we can grade it. After finishing the classwork, we will listen to the play, listen to the poem read by actor Sean Astin, okay? Copy that web address down, and you'll be able to listen to it at home. After listening to the novel on paper, tell me how is hearing the speech different than reading it. Okay, don't just tell me, well, I can hear it. That's an obvious thing. Tell me a little bit more detail about it, okay? So with your shoulder partner, we were to have chosen the section of the poem to share to the class how the audio version compared to reading that version, okay? So kind of comparing the audio to the one that we read. And we'll listen to the story, really listen to the words that the reader emphasizes. So this is an actor, okay? You might recognize him from The Goonies. You might recognize him from uh, Fifty First Dates, The Lord of the Rings. He's in a lot of movies. He's in Rudy. So look at all of those, and he's a pretty world-class actor, okay? What does he emphasize? What seems important to him? What is he bringing to your attention that maybe you didn't notice the first time reading the poem? Okay, that's what I'm looking for here. So, make sure you're getting that done. That concludes the lesson of the day.